Hello, Irene. <laughs> now everybody's joining, but we haven't got our um yes, anyway, I've just got to send a message back to our Lorna should be on. You there, Lorna? Yes, you're there. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Bill. Okay, Bill's what we need. All right. Very good. I will be back, okay? Okay. Yep. Yep. Hi, right, Bill. Yep. And Un unmute. <laughs> You muted. I should that should be unmuted now. Okay, good. Yeah, good, good. Okay, we're here. Sorry, I just um, yeah, for some reason. Anyway, there we go. We're all here now. That's good. good so yeah. that's good. Yeah. So we just we've got lots of people joining up already. I just have to admit them. Are you good to go? I'm so, good to go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just start. Uh, I'll get people in. So. Uh, that's inside. Yeah, good. Simon, thank you. So everybody should be muted as they're coming in. So. Oh, thank you. That's good. I've got you a second time, Lorna. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Here we are. Good. <laughs> We're all up. Hmm. Gosh, we've just been zooming in. So. Now, why doesn't that work? Peter. So. And Lorna, I've got you twice. I don't know, one on your phone, maybe? That's right, you're, you're here already. I don't need to do the second, I guess. Okay. Right, do. Okay. So, how are we all going? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Robin. Good morning, hey. Bill. Uh, thank you, how are you? <laughs> I have to bet yeah. on you. <laughs> yeah, very well. Thank you. Very well. Long time no see. But there's that about price to almost everybody, other than this. <laughs> that is true. That is true. <laughs> so, hmm. we're just about all here. I think I'll give it another minute or two just to wait, see if everybody um, everyone's, it comes in. We've got a couple more on our list, so we'll just wait for one second. Uh, we're pretty well stabilized, I guess. So. Oh, there are quite a few now, 15 or something. Yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty good. Mm. So, one more minute. We just uh, we're a couple of minutes over. Okay, we're good. All right, good let's friend, start. Then. How are you? Hi, Ted, how are you going? Oh, yeah. pretty good. <laughs> yeah, good <Robin>. good. <laughs> much appreciate everything, uh, Robin. Oh, that's a pleasure. Yeah, anyway, so we'll just uh, we might as well start off. So thanks for joining, joining us for our second eWorld workshop. I'm not sure not everybody came to the library, um, the eBooks one. So Bill Soper from uh, Computer Pals in Taramara, uh, Computer Pals for Seniors at Taramara, is going to take you through how to set up group meetings on various platforms so that you can do this without having to rely on your family or friends to start up a chat group for you. So there'll be plenty of opportunities for questions as well. Uh, so the Computer Pals at Taramara is a Wonderful group of volunteers, always keen to show seniors how to conquer these new technologies. And Bill's their president there. So, and you're welcome to ask questions during the presentation. So just wave your hand. Sometimes it's a bit tricky to see who's who's waving, so you might just have to unmute yourself and and uh, call out. But if we if we see your hand waving, we'll definitely ask you. You know, we'll sort of uh, respond. So you're probably familiar after the whole this whole year with clicking on this the microphone image at the lower left hand corner of your screen to mute and unmute. And there'll be chat, lots of time for questions at the end of the presentation as well. So over to you, Bill. I think we're good to go. Yeah, good morning. Uh, um, thank you, Robin. Thank you for that introduction. Uh, as you say, I'm involved with Computer Powers for Seniors in Taramara. Um, we, we've been around for 21 years, in fact, uh, well before my time. Um, during that time, we had a great relationship with the council. They've been really supportive. So uh, it's great to be involved with this sort of presentation, these sort of things, and probably particularly at times like this, where we're all a little bit more restricted and confined than we, they, we're used to being. So um, it's, it's good to be joining people on a Zoom conference or whatever uh, mass communication um, 
model we you like. Um, I've I've got some favourites as I go through here, and that'll probably be evident. But most of these things all work reasonably well. It's a bit like whether you have a Windows computer or an Apple computer. It's whatever you get used to and you're familiar with. Uh, in my view, go for it. And if that's what you know you and your family use, then stick with it. It, it makes it that much easier. Um, so don't don't necessarily preclude one thing or the other as you go through. I'm, just, I'm going to stick to some of the basics and um, hopefully at the end of it, um, you, you will learn something maybe and hopefully enjoy it. More importantly, um, th things are too depressing as, as they are. So more of these things we can do, we can enjoy the better. Um, as I say, we've had a great relationship with the council. I'll just see if I can share some of this with you. Um, I'll do that. And now, oops, missed one, that one. Yeah, the screen, okay. Oh, okay, I can't do that, that's, that's all right. I was gonna share something with you, but that's, that's okay. Don't worry. Um, the, the f first thing, just talking about Zoom, that's where we are. Sorry, um, sorry Bill, just try again. I, I made you co-host, just see if it'll oh, work. okay, out. all right, see. Oh, it should work. We yeah, did have this issue right. last time. Is that going? Yeah, it should be all right. Yeah, okay. Advanced. Basic fine. Share. So, so I hope you can see. Good. One of our highlights is um, we received a, a community uh, recognition. Uh, seems like ages ago now. It's before restrictions and lockdowns and before COVID. Uh, a couple of years ago, we received that from the council. So uh, that's something we're a feather in our cap and we're, we're well proud of that. Um, and hopefully we can continue to be a meaningful player in the local, uh, more senior, but local community. Um, back, on, back on Zoom, um, you might be able to gather from this, I'm an accountant by background. So Zoom make money from their subscriptions. Um, they were founded about 10 years ago. And what I think they've been quite smart at doing is getting some good associations. So they seem to have hit the marketplace at the right um, level just recently. When we've been going into lockdown, they've got good associations. People uh, seem to be referring to them a lot, particularly a lot of corporates. And that one thing leads to another. So they've become very popular. Sorry, uh, just one thing, Bill. Your, your Zooms, uh, your, sorry, your screens unshared for some reason. So we're seeing you instead of your screen. Oh, no, I'll stop, I'll stop doing that. Oh, that's yeah. right. Okay, that's fine. That's <laughs> good. Right. I just thought you had it on your list. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Not quite as looking yeah. at, uh, good looking as looking at uh, our mayor, but anyway, you've got to put up with me. Um, so Zoom primarily make money through their subscriptions, but you don't have to pay anything. So their subscription model allows you to have calls like this where you can have any basically any number of attendees and they can go for any length of time or you can do what I do at home just have run the free version where you're limited to 40 participants and 40 minutes 40 participants is really quite a lot and, and never hit that ceiling 40 minutes can be a bit of constraint uh, but all you have to do is close one meeting and go exactly into exactly the same meeting the next one along um, uh, and so you can keep running that for as long as you like, if you so wish. And um, personally, from a you know my own personal perspective, that's fine. That's all I need for, for what I'm doing. So you don't need to pay for it. You, you can just run on the the uh, smell of an oily rag if you wish. A, a bit of sort of homework and some of the features. And Robin's mentioned the mute button at the bottom. Um, work worth doing on a big call and also worth pointing out to big people when they've got the radio on or there's somebody cooking or mowing the lawn or, or whatever always good because a bit of background noise may not seem too bad to you is at your end but it can be very distracting for other people and um, on a couple of computer power things we've had we've done this and people have not been on mute and then they get a call and, and that's just distracting to everybody so mute for a, um, a larger range of people is a good idea the next one along, you can stop the video. And if something's going on in the background that you don't want people to see, you can just stop, stop the video and you can still hear. Uh, not a bad thing. And then uh, around halfway along is the chat. So if you, if you key on that, you can chat with everybody 
everyone on the call or there's a little drop down menu which allows you to chat with individuals so i could send robin a message saying i'm not seeing bert particularly cope well or the bert is muffled or whatever if we want to try and fix that or alternatively and particularly when i'm on my freebie service at home i'm going to just tell everybody i've had the five minute notice it's going to cut out in five minutes be prepared so that, that's a useful little thing to do um, screen share, which is what I've just done. You go on, you can pick a file that you want people to look at, um, show it, and, and as, a, as a host, you can show it, and then withdraw from that as well. And reactions is also quite good fun. So if you key on that, you can ask a question, put up your hand like that, as I've done up here for me, um, and you can withdraw that at any time. But also there's any number of little emojis, I guess they are, that you can go there. So you can put on a, where is one? Um, a sort of, well, a very a loving face, if you want. Uh, you can put on all these things, should you wish. And on my option here, I've got hundreds, if not thousands. Um, I think it's a tiger. Well, I don't know why I'd need that, but you have all these options. So that they, they can be quite useful in terms of actually running a meeting and, and a group quite well with the, with the raised hands. Um, it, it's just a useful thing to do. And then up in the top right, so up over there for me, uh, there's a view button. And that gives you two things. You can either, in this case, unfortunately, look at me, um, but it, you can have the speaker there as the prominent person. Or if you've not got too many, you can go to gallery and that just lists everybody equally across the screen. And if you only got maybe nine, possibly 12, uh, that, that's quite a good way of making sure you're seeing everybody going on at the same time. So that's just sort of a bit of background and homework on, on Zoom. Uh, I, I'm obviously you're all using it, so I uh, hope it's going well. Um, and, and it is a great tool for seeing what's going on in this day and age. The next thing I was going to talk about was WhatsApp. But before I do that, is there any questions on, anyone got immediate questions on Zoom? Um, yes, I've got one. On the reactions, I'm only getting two coming up, um, which is clap your hands or thumbs up. Oh, well, if you, my, for my presentation, just put your thumbs up and I'll be very happy. Um, yeah, I just wondered how you got more. Nicely I, by I, my computer, I've got an iMac and it's quite old. Yeah, I, I assume it's something to do with the, the age of the computer. I, mm. I don't really understand yeah. why, but I've had mm -hmm. this before with people, a, a small number seem to have restricted options. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, do, you, do you have the little the three dots at the right hand end? Yeah. Are they three dots? The three dots no. at the end, then that might no. give you oh, no, no, I've got Gallery view, and then there's a no. My computer is about eight years old, and oh. I've just updated the iOS, but I've lost words. So that's right. So this is this is mind. yeah. Sorry, this is for the reactions. Yeah. Yes. You click on reactions. Yeah. There's just there's not the three little dots. No, no there's just a plus. Okay. That's and it gives me two, so it's probably the age of my computer or the Zoom. Yeah. And yesterday I couldn't share screen when I did something, but my son helped me. That um, he, we had to go into original settings, so maybe yeah. I can get more. And I think Anita, did Anita put her hand up? Yeah. Bill, excuse me. Oh. Are you here? Sorry. Can I can I ask a question? Yep. Sorry. Yep. Yes, Bill, yep. I can't yes. see what you're Sorry, referring Ernie. to at all. Oh. So all Just, I'm seeing is you and some of the participants on the right hand side. What, what I can't see when you're referring to oh, the activate button or the emojis. So, Why can't I see it? It should be right down at the bottom. So if you that, take take the um, mouse right down to the bottom of what you're seeing. Yes. Does, it, does anything pop up? Oh, it's just a mute, stop video, participants, chat, share yes. screen, record and, and, and reactions. That's all I have. So yeah, key on the little reactions one. Yes. And you should get a, a range of options. You might get the restricted options that we heard the last question about, or for me, I've got, I get um, a row of one, two, three, four. All right, these six. are the emojis. Yeah. yeah. But as you're talking through all the Zoom odds and sods, 
I don't see what you're referring to because I, I, all I've got is the bottom toolbar, that's all. And so then the, really, as a, a participant, I don't have a view of what you're talking about. Is that it? No, no you, you cannot see what I'm actually seeing on my little toolbar. But, right. but you should be seeing the same um, icons there that you can, you can parallel run with. So the reactions, you should click on that. And you'll see uh, it's six highlighted and then three little dots to the right. Any reactions, one? No. No, no dots. Oh, yes, the dots. So if you click on that, you'll get thousands of options. Well, hundreds anyway. Right. Oh, that's strictly emojis. Mm. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Bill. No, that really was. It's just that when you're talking through this, you're talking about a specific whatever, an app or something, and I can't see it. So really, as a participant, all you're seeing is what you're in control as you're the chairperson. You're in control of the Zoom meeting, is that it? Uh, well, with, yeah. with Robin's help, yes. Yeah. So, 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 so but, but right. you'll see, as, as the host, you'll be able to do all those bits and pieces down the bottom. and right. But everybody can do that, I think. And the other one was changing the view from uh, having the speaker as the big the big image and everybody else as small ones, yeah. or um, or having everybody the same size, and that one's up in the top right hand corner of your screen. It says view. Yeah. Is that that one? Thank you. So okay. You just click on that and you can change it from one to the other. Thank you. Yep. Hi, Bill. Thank you so much. Oh, and Irene had a question as well. Yeah. I just follow your instruction to do the hands up on the, uh, in order to draw attention, I got a question, but I can't make it. I have in front of me, I got a hand there. The how do I move the hand to the, to the, uh, to your screen? Oh. Okay, well, um, I can't, I need to maybe be able to see you. I think you need your uh, video one actually. Okay. I mean, that might be the only way we can do that. Is it or oh, not? right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How do I? How do I move it? Just if you click on where it says raise hand, that should appear on your screen, and then we can see that. Is that working? And yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah, you're there now. Yeah, I can see you've yeah, raised yeah. your hand. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Okay, good, good. And there's a second question. Can I go ahead? Yep. yep. Regarding the Zoom, recently, I don't know what happened when the Zoom is end, finished the meeting, and I, I got a message come up on my screen. He said uh, to upgrade something like that. Should I upgrade uh, or not? Okay. So, so what, what the, you, you're on the free version when you're doing that? And when you get to the end, towards the end of your 40 minutes allocation, um, they will say, the warning, your 40 minutes is coming up. And by the way, why don't you upgrade to the subscribe version? Why don't you pay us some money and then you won't have this warning come up? So yeah. it's just it's trying to persuade you to, to pay. And I think it's about $180, the, the subscription, to have longer meetings and more people at your meetings. And that, I say, that's how they make their money. They go to the the corporates, the big companies, and they all pay that money because that's what they need. But my own personal view is that individuals just working from doing things from home probably don't need it. Yeah, yeah. I got this at the stage in the earlier month. Then I ignore it. But now when whenever I finish the Zoom meeting, I leave and then gone. Okay, the meeting's gone. And then another, another uh, message come up to ask me, uh allow to upgrade to, to to upgrade or not so, but up to now i still ignore it i don't know how long it will come up again well yeah i don't, I don't know exactly how they do it but um obviously they would like everyone all of us to pay rather than have it for free but what whilst it's for free just go for it and uh ignore those emails it's not a it's, 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 it pop up Whenever yeah, I finish, just like today, if I, I finish with you at 11.30 and then I catch the leap, okay, all gone, but automatically come up the screen 
in my computer, uh, the message is that uh, ask me to upgrade, allow or not allow. I just uh, click not later. You could you later. could click on it. You could click on it. You probably have a several steps, so you could probably click on it and just see what they're asking you to do. Hmm. Whether they're asking you to pay more, at which point you just say cancel. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Just click on it if you like. Just click on it, the upgrade, and see what happens. I guess is one way to do. It. I did to go ahead because I just okay. realized you said I, I, I need to pay. You know, I don't want to pay. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, I try yeah. your. I try your. Okay, number. so I think Beverly had a question as well, and then Heather. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. So Beverly, you need to unmute. <laughs> okay. So you need to unmute Beverly. Yes. Uh, good morning, okay. uh, Bill. Um, I I just do all that I can do on an iPhone, um, and I can't wait for lockdown to be finished so I can go to the Apple shop and get some more lessons because I only got I went from a flip phone to an iPhone just before COVID started, and then they stopped lessons. So I had two beginner lessons. Um, the Zoom is wonderful for connecting, and these programs run by counsel are fantastic. Absolutely. And uh, so I'm learning more than I would learn in that period of time normally in life. So the more I can learn, the better. But uh, that view button that you were talking about uh, um, oh. with the... Um, showing the speaker does that work on the iphone i seem to only get a picture of myself and my friend who's with me in lockdown um and if i move my finger across it shows me four but you said that there's a, a view button that shows you the person speaking and shows them yeah. clear. does well, that that's a good question i don't know the answer on a phone um yeah. I, I would imagine <laughs> it's there somewhere but whether it's in the top right or somewhere different on iPhone, I don't know. I'll try and have a look for that. I don't know. Yeah, I believe it is limited on, on an iPhone screen. You only can see a limited number of people. So that's that's as much as I know as well. I'm not an expert at all. But yeah. Yeah. So I only got NBN on at the beginning of last year. And I have I realised that I would bought a smart TV a few years before and is there any way that I can get somebody to uh, help me um, get programs or use the TV for these sorts of things? Is there do you, run do you run courses, Bill, at Computer Pals? Otherwise, yeah, we, we could probably do. Um, we, we could add that to, our, uh, to next week's one. How to how to organise your smart TV? We could sort that yeah, out. Okay. Um, yeah. right. so we'll do that. We'll make sure we've got that on next week's. Okay, and I think Heather had a question as well. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Bill and Robin. Uh, I was just wondering, how does one host a Zoom? Okay. Uh, um, and Heather, how are you? It's been a while. Um, it's been a while. Yeah. Okay, so to, to go to get your own, become a host, you have to log in and create an account with with Zoom, um, right. and that's pretty you know fairly straightforward. You go in, you want to create an account as you do with many places um, like online shopping. You create your own account, um, and that will then allow you to host. If you um, if you go on the private one, you then have to actually hold your meeting you have to invite your participants and you have to send them an individual email. So you, a, a drawback is you cannot really set it up in advance. Like this meeting has been set up in advance. If you have the private one, you can, you can only start it there and then you then send out the emails to whoever you want to get to join you. Uh, and then you would let them in in much the same way. But step one, you create your own account. Um, got to think of a password before you get too far into it. But then you just follow the prompts. And you may need to download a small app. Uh, you've, you've probably got it already because of the way you're running, but you may need to download a small app just to make sure you're a host or um, able to host. Uh, and to be a host, do you have to pay? No, no, you can do the free option. Exactly what I do at home. Um, as I say, I'm an accountant and I don't want to pay money, so it's all free for me. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> 
So is that does do you have another question, Irene, or is that from the whole? Just testing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now uh, I I realized that now I see the recording that is on your host recording. But if I if I want to record on my computer, can I do yeah. that? Uh, and so the host um, sort of runs the recording or not, or you know decides on whether it's going to be recorded or not. Uh, as a host, when you set the meeting up, there is a tick box that says automatically record the meeting. Or once you start the meeting, you can actually just go to that lower level, the lower line that says recording, and you can click the record. Lower line. Where's the lower line? Uh, so once, if you move your if you move your cursor around the screen. The, the, low, the line that, we, that gives you the little mute button, the stop video, security, the number of participants, chat, and so on. It's on that line, share screen, response. It's, on, it's next to the re reactions, actually. Okay. But, you need, but you need permission from the host yeah. to be able to record on no, your no, own. No, it probably like, doesn't come up unless you host it. Yeah. No, no, something like you send us at the about the uh, Zoom for the tour, the visual tour to the other uh, country. But at that time, I can't take it. Yes. So I want to record and then uh, uh, watch it yeah. later. That's what I so want. You, I you would have to ask the coast. I'll just give you an example. If I want to record something, I, I want it to watch later about documentary or something like that. Can I do that? No, no. You'd have to ask the host to record for you, and then they could send you the link to the recording. Uh -huh. I, I don't have to do it my, I, myself, right? As a host, you can do it, but not as a participant. So you have, if, you want, if you were participating and you wanted something recorded, you'd have to ask the host, and then they'd send you the link. Okay. No, but as a host, you can, you can record. Once you set up as a host yourself, you yeah, can record. I understand that. I, I don't want <laughs> too much. Yeah, no, as a participant, you need to ask the host to do that for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You. All right. We better move on. We've got Bill's got quite a big presentation. Just, so. one, just more. one more on Zoom. Could I just ask? Um, yeah. it, when the link is brought um, email to you, is there some way? Does anyone know if I can put that into my calendar? There is, there is a choice to do that. I tend not to send that through because a couple of times when we've sent it through, people have tried to join through that one on, on, on the morning of the, of the uh, Zoom uh, meeting and it's been a bit confusing. But yes, it is a possibility. Yeah. Okay. So um, moving on from Zoom, the next thing I was going to talk about is WhatsApp. So it's, it's a really good um, communication device. It is now part of Facebook. So just be aware that more commercial things are gonna come into it, I suspect, as time goes by. Um, originally, it was set up to be a free, free for use. Uh, and they, the, the inventors of it, if you like, the people who got it going initially, that they didn't charge for anything. They actually made their money by selling um, the whole kit and caboodle to Facebook for, I think it was 18 billion. Uh, it was a big figure anyway. So whether they charged for it or not, didn't really matter. They made their money um, through the sale. <clears throat> they, they now, through Facebook, make their money really by, again, selling subscriptions to uh, big businesses. But for the likes of you and me, it's free. and um, it's a complete phone calls, messaging, sending uh, videos, photos, uh, very, and it's very, very good. I, I use it regularly. Um, I'll tell you why I use it regularly a little bit later on, um, but, but I do. Um, it's, it's really good for groups. So you can set up a, a group um, and copy everybody in very quickly send around photos very quickly. So it's, it's good for family things, but it does need an administrator, somebody who has the role that Robin has on this call to make sure that you're only letting the right people in and that the right sort of information's uh, then controlled. So it, it, you do, if you're gonna do it, you do need an administration controller. Um, 
the, the reason I use it, a bit of an, a side thing here, is um, I'm a cyclist. And it, the cycling groups that I'm part of, we all use WhatsApp. And if we say we're going to meet at um, Gordon um, Station at eight o'clock, we all put on a tracking device and we can see how people are arriving at Gordon Station at mm. eight o'clock. So you, you just put it into your phone, say, track me. And when we all get there, five of us are there and we know the sixth person is two minutes down the road or perhaps the sixth person has had a bit of a problem and stuck somewhere. But it, it, you can see how people are um, progressing and you can track them. So you can do all this by using the paper clip and add on to a message. Um, so, but you can use it just as a phone, uh, a, a video phone, or just messaging. It, it's really, and it's cheap. In fact, it's free. And you just have to make sure that the people you want to talk to are a part of your contacts. And you can, you can do all these things. Free phone calls, free messaging, free videos. Um, very, very good. The one thing you now need to watch, and I sort of can't stress this enough, is you need to watch your settings on WhatsApp. So a bit like on the computer, you follow your settings and you need to go to your privacy and make sure that you're only con allowing your contacts to be contacted. And the importance of this is that this is now part of Facebook and they want to get as much information out to as many people as possible. That's how they make their money. And if you're not careful, you can find you've set up a group like this here on the computer. And then there's uh, Fred from New Zealand joining in and there's Janice from the US joining in. And then you're going to start, they're still going to start plugging whatever they want to plug um, because Facebook is all about advertising and promoting things. So just be aware of that. Make sure the settings is set to your contacts. Really, really important. Now, it's a, it's a, bit, a bit confusing and a bit much to um, take When it. you say settings, all participants, I've got a WhatsApp and it just has send messages to all participants and edit group info, all participants. Because um, I set up a group for one of my youth 3 as yeah. Um, and um, I set it up and got everyone's phone numbers and then I allowed them in. Most people had WhatsApp. And so, so when I scroll down to um, where do you check your group settings, is that where the privacy would be? It's uh, OK. In, in, I'll go back a bit. Settings and then there's more settings for me. All oh, right. OK. Then there's a cat. Yeah. Uh, and the top one of that is privacy oh okay and, and the top one of that is last seen my contacts oh mm. okay is this under whatsapp or under your settings on the phone no this is under whatsapp oh right okay i just mm, okay i might need to check that then all right and this what i was going to ask facebook is facebook not as safe as whatsapp because i've facebook messenger i thought everyone said whatsapp was better than mess, messenger um maybe it's both so yeah, I mean, again, I, I actually think it's a matter of preference and, and what mm -hmm. do you get used to. I, I'm, I'm a WhatsApp person, yeah. um, not a messenger. And the messenger, yeah, much more closely linked to evolved through Facebook yeah. rather than being an acquisition in. Right. Um, okay. So a criticism where it gets some, some censorship. I mean, you know, when that's the problem in the States with the, uh, the, riot, the Capitol building or whatever it was and Trump mm. was then excluded, that was... That was off, off. He was excluded out of Facebook and he was also so excluded out of Messenger. And, you know, I don't want to get into the politics, yep. whether that's right or wrong, but some of that happens. Um, but it is, it, Messenger seems to be good for um, large groups. And therefore, it does need, need, need to make sure you have adequate um, bandwidth and the like. Mm -hmm. So it does seem to be more the more corporate end of this sort of um, capability. Okay. Hmm. A, a, a complete a co contrast to, 
to Messenger and indeed, I guess, to WhatsApp is Telegram, which is does all this, the, the, these things all do more or less the same things. Uh, and if you're into one, stick with it, as I say. Um, so Telegram is owned by smaller players. Uh, so some would say it's a greater risk because it's with the smaller players. Um, others will say that's better because there's no censorship. Um, again, it allows live streaming and instant messaging, instant messaging in particular. Um, so the sort of the claims and counterclaims really depend on your own preferences and, and how you're going to use it and therefore make a decision. But for me, WhatsApp works perfectly well. It's really good. Um, and I don't actually have to find a particular need for either Messenger or Telegram. Mm -hmm. Hi, Bill. Hi. Can I ask you a question about the WhatsApp setting? Oh, you just mentioned about uh, um, <laughs> administration contact a person, only you, but I, I can't find that setting. Where can I find it? So in we're on WhatsApp? Yeah, in the WhatsApp, in the mobile. Yeah, okay. Uh, are you... Uh, an Apple or an Android Apple. user? Apple. Okay. Oh, well, I'm not sure it's exactly the same. I'm an, I'm an Android and I can only read from what I actually see in front. So the, the three dots at the top right takes me into settings. Yeah, I'm now in setting WhatsApp. Okay. So I get in mine, I get a new group, new broad broadcast, link devices, starred messages, or settings again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tap yeah. on I, settings I thought, again. Yeah. And I then thought, the top top one I get is accounts and privacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this, but where do I click it to go further? So go on, then privacy. Pardon? So you go into privacy. Privacy, is it? Yeah. I can't I can't see my privacy on the on here. I I, I tell you what <laughs> my setting is. I got the first one is is the uh, start message oh, message sure. a link and then the second one link device and then account and then chat and then notification and then storage and data and account then, uh, account uh, account is the one you need i think yeah okay Have a look in account oh I mean. yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah okay i'm now in account now privacy okay. you want me to go in privacy is it yeah okay privacy, yeah yep i'm i'm there now Okay, and then, then you've got, make sure your con last scene is my contacts. Okay, my contact, yep, I mm. did, yep. And, and that should keep it pretty pretty safe. Because oh, okay. you're only going to be getting, getting information from your contacts, so people on your contact list. Okay, yeah. How about the live location? Should I, should I do something there? Uh, well, you, it, that, that's up to you. You can if you want. Um, you, you don't need to. Okay. To, yes, to, to track your location. Um, At the moment, it's none. On my screen, it's none. Right. It, I, th I think it's also a marketing thing where they just want to know where you're calling from so they can, you know, they can then target oh, okay. you with local so, information. Yeah, I just leave it, leave it what it is. Leave it as none is better. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. they don't know where you are. Yeah, what about the two-step yeah. verification? What does it mean there? Where are you? Two-step verification. Under setting account, and there's an item, the two-step verification. What does it mean by that? Uh, Enable or not? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would not bother. Okay, then I'll just leave it. It's, it's just another step. I mean, if, if you're happy with the security around your phone, then I, I think that's adequate. It's, it's yeah, just it'll, it'll thing ask you for another password. Yeah, it, they want a second password. So, yeah. And and Bill, is it the um, is it on uh, WhatsApp that you and your cycle group uh, share your location when you're meeting up? Yes. So yeah. So I have a cycle group. I tap on that. Um, I won't do that. I'll do that one. And then you uh, you get the opportunity to send a new message. With the new message, there's a, a camera and a paper clip. Mm -hmm. Tap on the paper clip, you get a variety of options. Mm -hmm. Location. Uh, and location is a, uh, green on this. And I, I tap that. 
and you can share your location for a period of time 15 minutes one hour eight hours okay. Wonderful. And, and pick uh, a, a question Bill. so is that open to all the, gr the group participants or just you as the organizer of the group no no so that that whole group um just I, I, i've got a family one so so not to interrupt everybody i put it on the family one right now I'll, I'll tap it in for an hour and they can all see where i am and in a, my cycle group is also good if you're going to meet somebody in the city this is not in days gone by when there was no lockdown you're going to meet people in the city at town hall you could put this on and you know if your train's late they'll know you're they'll see you coming down the train line but you're, you're 10 minutes late or whatever it is it, it's it's a great little thing for meeting people at the in a different location, uh, uh, mm. you know, a nominated time. Fantastic. Is it this function? It can uh, delete any time and set up any time? Yeah, you can use it any time. Yep. Sorry. I think you do. <clears throat> you oh, do need to. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Go uh, ahead. Oh, I just was looking at my WhatsApp. So you put send your current location, you mark that. Yeah. Yeah, send, send location. So right. uh, it, you're, you're going to send a normal message, if you like. Mm. And if, uh, the paper clip at the bottom, tap on that. Oh, sorry, I need to get out of it. Can now. you, can, excuse me, can you start again? I can't follow you. I, I start again, how do you set uh, up this uh, fair location? Would you mm -hmm. mind okay. to start again? <laughs> okay. So, I missed some step. I can't follow. Okay, hey, just go on to a group. If you've already got a group set up, that's the way you have to start. Oh, you have to go, you have to have a group already set up. That's probably yep. one thing. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. A group set. Where do I get a group? Well, you have to become part of a group. You, you'll want to set up a group uh, with your family, with your friends. So um, far, I don't have a group. So, how do I set okay. up a group? Okay. Do you, with, do, with, uh, come back on the group. Yeah, yeah. I haven't got any group. Mm. How do I set up the group? So you go to your three dots and the first one says new group. Go to the three dots on the right right hand top corner. Yep. And it says new group. You mean under WhatsApp, right? Yep, on the WhatsApp. Yep, yep. And then add it, right? Or what? So no, the top the top right hand corner where you've got your three little dots. Oh, okay, yep. And it yeah. says new group is the yeah, I is got the, it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Then I come up at participant. So then you can choose from all the people of, in your contacts, you can yeah. choose the people who you yeah. want to be in that group. Okay. And then once your group set up and you can send them messages, uh -huh. once you start sending messages, that's when you that you can so you can send a message to say, um, I'm uh, I'll meet you in the city, and that's when you put your little the, the location on. So when you when you once you've got the group set up and you're sending them a message, that's when you hit the location button. Oh, okay. So they will got it immediately, right? They, so what, as soon as they get the message, they'll 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 know where you are. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Were you all right, Anne? You had a question? Yes, yes, no, I worked it out. It's great. Okay, good, good. Great. <laughs> yeah, so much to learn. <laughs> yeah. I've just told my family where I am, and they said, "Why do you do that?" <laughs> well, I can see, and you're sitting on some beach somewhere, so that looks yeah. wonderful. Oh no, just at home. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Thanks. Um, well, essentially, that was really all I was going to talk through, with primarily Zoom and WhatsApp, a, a little bit on, um, you know, Messenger, Telegram, but not terribly much. Um, so very much now it's back to you and open for any questions you might have i'm sorry bill just before we go on the yeah, no, WhatsApp, no. when i click okay. on the class <laughs> the first one said camera so you can just show a photo there so i didn't when catch the first part of that Anne. oh when you're on whatsapp and you've yeah. got the plus at the side and you click the plus the location was down the bottom um, near contact but at the top it had camera photo video library room i don't know quite what room means Oh, is that a video room? So you can do your video there. Hang on, I'll have a look. I mean, my iPhone is a, is a, what is it? An, an XR, so it's a year old or two years well, old. Yeah, so you, you, it, that's right, it's a, it's a sort of a group video yeah. thing. 
Oh, oh, is that that thing? I've never used it. But, Otherwise, um, I thought you could click the video. If you're calling someone on the right-hand side, it's got the phone or it's got the video call, hasn't it, to click? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you can do either, really. Yeah. I, and you can send I've a document got, that way. I have done video calls, but I've never done a group thing on WhatsApp. Mm, okay. We've been doing family nights, but we, yeah, I don't always set it up. Um, that's great because usually with my photos I have to go into my photo library and then I've got to find what's at so from here it's a quicker way of doing it isn't it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's great thank you very much hmm. okay and I mentioned something I don't know whether people are interested but with whatsapp you can also look at it on the on your computer oh yeah you yeah, can't sorry. make phone calls of course but that's not a phone your computer hmm. on the ipad you can do it too can't you Oh, wait a minute, I don't have WhatsApp on the iPad. I've only got uh, Messenger. Okay. It should be the same as your phone yeah, for, the, yeah. for uh, the little, for the downloading the app and then using that. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I didn't realize you could do it through your computer. So, yeah. yeah. So this is, so when, when you're setting up a new group, if people wanted to try and set up a new group, so the first thing is to download the app, I guess that's step one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> So, although, yeah, if you can, no, you have to download the app. And then, um, so does it give you the, your Facebook contacts or your phone contacts? Your, it, it gives, I had an idea, it gave you your, uh, the, the, all the phone numbers that you have in your phone. Oh, yeah. Those are the contacts yeah, yeah. that come up. That's, that's, yeah. yeah. So which, so which, or is it both? Maybe you can do both. Well, it's certainly the phone. I, I'm not, I'm not yeah. trying to go beyond that. It's certainly the phone. Yeah. WhatsApp will use the phone. Messenger will use your Facebook contacts. Oh, okay. Well, so there you go. WhatsApp is phone phone numbers, and mm -hmm. yeah, Messenger is Facebook. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thanks, Lorna. <laughs> I do want to just finalise with. Oh, it, have you got a question, Beverly? Uh, yes, I was just wondering about uh, uh, what's the difference between WhatsApp and Messenger. It sounds as if WhatsApp is the way to go. Well, as I say. Essentially, there's not that much difference. That they both do the same sorts of things, and um, I would just stick with whatever your group, whatever that group is, wants to do. But if you're initiating it, um, and I'm biased, I would start with WhatsApp. But if if you're joining in something else, and it is Messenger or whatever it is, join that in because you'll have somebody who can lead you through it, um, and that avoids some of the difficulties. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, the, the other thing, I guess, if you have a different group of people who are your Facebook friends from your telephone friends, I don't know, some people might, um, that, that probably means that you could, if you, if you wanted to set up a group with your Facebook friends, then you'd need to use your, your messenger. Well, yes, yeah. Yeah. And in that case, it's the same sort of thing, just up top right-hand corner, there's a little, that looks like a pen, I guess, and it's, it says create a new group. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. They're both very good for international calls as well. If you want to have a family group for oh, international, yeah. they're really good to do that too for free. Yeah, yeah, That's absolutely. Good. Yeah. Thank you. I find a lot of people in Europe when we did Airbnb in France um, liked WhatsApp. Mm. Okay. Way yeah. of contact rather than Messenger. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Is that better than how, where does Skype fit into this? Oh yeah, well, the Skype. I guess it gets Skype and Zoom. Um, if you'd asked me probably three or four years ago, I would have said Skype, but now I'm converted to Zoom. Mm -hmm. um, and again, they do really basically the same things, but I find Zoom is a bit more reliable. You get a bit more clarity with the pictures, um, wh whether that's just the computer I have or the people I speak to or whatever. Uh, and the sound is a bit more consistent. So I'm now a Zoom person, but fundamentally they do the same thing. And, um, you, you know, you can communicate the same on both of them. So okay. up to you. Hi, can, um, I, can, I, can I ask a question? Yep. The WhatsApp message, message okay? Um, how do I block, block those messages? I don't want it. Because uh, I, recently I come up so many, I don't know whether scam or what message. Can I, can I block it, not come again? Now at the moment, I just delete it. How do I do that in my mobile? What's that? I mean in my mobile message. Can I block the message? I don't want it. 
because recently I, 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 I got so many and, and I don't know what, how, how come I get this message. I don't know. What's that? You took a, a standard SMS phone message or, or what's that one? Uh, on my, uh, on my mobile under okay. the, the messages. Okay. So standard, so no, it, what's that? Yeah. This is a real issue on your phone, if it, you know, because mm -hmm. th these. I was going to finish up really talking about scams, but uh, the sort of a segue into that. Um, these guys are sophisticated and they will never use the same number twice. Mm. So it's very. You, you can block and you can block a number, and that's I don't, fine. I don't know how to block. I, I can't do it. I don't know. Well, oh, I'm going to say. Yeah. Uh, if you, if you block block a number, they'll they'll if their number is one two three four tomorrow it'll come in one two three five and the next day one two three six, they will not use the same number twice. So you can block a number and that will prevent that. But it's very difficult to get ahead of these guys uh, who are just sending rogue stuff. I, I just deleted it immediately, but I I don't want to do it day after day again and again. So I just. Try no, to I think, figure out how to block it. I think that's what you have to do, Irene, because yeah. it won't be the same number each time. You can, yeah. Whichever one you block, that, that doesn't matter. It'll be a different number next time. So I think what you do is you just keep deleting them. Don't yeah. click on anything that doesn't look familiar. And Yeah, very yeah. annoying. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. And also, can I, the second question can I ask is, in the mobile message, is no, it the same message in the in the computer? Sorry, what, can you say that again? No. Yeah. So can can you see your messages on the on the computer screen? Is that what you're saying? Your mobile device messages? Yeah, and also. I don't think so. Same, you can we can find the message from the mo the, the computer, but sometimes when I want to send the before I I I I, I did it. It, can, it work together. When I send a message from my mobile device, the message same linked to the, my computer. So I can see both out, send, and then in reply. But now I just see one I can't do together. Either I do it on the uh, mm. computer or yeah. what I think, what I ask is, can I link it together again, two device under the message? Um, Six messages you can. Um, Six messages? Thanks, Heather. <laughs> no, sorry. Um, oh dear. I lost it. Um, uh, yeah, I, I can't think. So. No, I sorry. It would depend on the gear. I think it depend on the gear you've <laughs> got. So I, I'm really not sure on that and not what to advise about it. Yeah. It sounds like a whole different program that links your mobile to your computer. Yeah. You see? But before uh, it worked together, whenever yeah. I send a message on my mobile device, I already go to my, my computer. So is this, it's, is that, that's not your emails, it's your message. No, 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 no. Not uh, just message. The, mes the message, not, okay. not, uh, e not in the email. So yeah, I, I haven't come across this, no. I just I, I haven't ever come across that. No. So emails you can from yeah. the computer mm. to the email, your I know, but but not not that case. Not not because it will no. be before together when I do the okay. message in, in my You'd mind. have to ask a, a real expert, I think. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that <laughs> it sounds like a program that you need to to sort of have yeah. your yeah. phone link yeah. to your computer yeah. screen. I haven't seen that. Yeah, I think, yeah. yeah I, think, I think what you, you your guess is right. Maybe the program, there's something, because usually nowadays, they, they automatically upgrade. When they upgrade, something by miss and don't uh, or catch up the, the, the state of pace to, to compromise. Oh, uh, yeah. The yeah. 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 yeah, maybe that's right. The other yeah. day, the other day, yeah. I was offered the option of linking my mobile to my computer. How do but, I do that? But so far, I haven't, so that I can make um, phone calls from my computer. But I haven't taken that up yet. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm. So it, it did happen from somebody. 
not only me, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the thing I was go going to finish up with is just a, a bit of warning about scams and social media generally. And I know uh, there's a session coming up on scams and I'd, I really recommend you take part in that because they're just everywhere at the moment. We've heard a bit about them. Uh, but one of the problems with social media generally is the scammers are, well, not to be underestimated, they're very good and they are trawling that information through computer programs and the like 24 hours a day. So you need to be a little bit careful. Uh, Facebook seems to get the worst of this, but it, it applies everywhere. A little bit careful about putting a, a picture up of Roger on his 60th birthday because they're going to mm. trawl that and they say, okay, Roger, 60th birthday. If we actually have a look at the messages around then as well, um, we know his birthday was on Tuesday. Okay, so they got that. They know date of birth. And then you might have a picture of a street party. Here we are in Chapel Street. Street party. Okay, so he lives in Chapel Street and we know his yeah. birthday. Mm. And then, oh, message, we went to the bank. And okay, so we know he's Westpac. And they are accumulating this information, identity theft, mm. all the time. So you need to be very careful yeah. about what you're putting out there as public information. If you're going between friends and people you know, probably not too much of an issue. But if you're going out to the unknowns out there, it, there is a risk. And you just need to be aware of that and be careful about what the information you put up when you're going out to a lot of people. Um, and... I say the scams coming up and really everybody on this call should be on that call because it's a it's a really ser serious issue. But just for your own part, <laughs> apart from doing what Robin says, don't click on this. If you attachments, if you don't know it, if it's a message you don't expect, be very wary and all those things. But also just be careful about what you put up on social media. Bill, if you're on Facebook and you've only got friends, you're only allowed friends to look at it, then can anyone else hack into it? If well, clever, I dare if say professionals can. I mean, it, you ought to be all right, but I, I dare say yeah. a professional get into it and they can get into anything if mm. they really set their mind to it. Um, but they will only set their mind to and it. And also, if you use it, they sorry. Sometimes when I've been at the airports and you go onto a computer there, I think well, someone's hacked into it because it's not safe, is it? Yeah, I agree. Public space like that, mm. uh, be very careful. Don't, you know, mm. don't. You know, hey, hey Joyce, there's my bank account. If you could just put the money in, that would be yeah. really good. You know, yeah, be wary of those sorts of things. Mm. Absolutely. A lot of people use other places if you're waiting for a play and you'll log into the local Sydney airport or something and yeah. then you think afterwards, or oh, if someone's written to me who I don't know who they are. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So just a bit of a distraction, but uh, away from what we're talking about. I had a friend who moved house uh, about a month ago and uh, selling a lot of gear as you do. And he, he sold a table for $200 and the deal was cash. Um, but next day he got a, an email from PayPal, from PayPal, the money's in your account. Right? And, and this was fraudulent. Uh, the money never <laughs> came through, but this, for $200, these, this guy or these people, had replicated a Facebook email and it, it would look really, really genuine. Um, so they're doing it for small amounts of money. You know, mm. it's, uh, that, that really surprised me, that one. Mm. Getting very organized for small amounts. Anyway, well, we, so use, um, we use Marketplace on Facebook or Gumtree. And again, I suppose you've got to be a bit careful because you've got people coming to your house, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, and really, phys physically what they see is one thing. And, yeah, yeah, take something out of it. But also you're advertising to people that aren't just your friends. Anyone yeah. can message you. Yeah. There's gear there and it might be available and yeah. Mm. So Bill, where do you, um, I had the Computer Pals, is that your organisation? Well, hardly, uh, it, no, it's uh, hardly my organisation. Yeah. It is, uh, I say, we've been around for 21 years mm. and um anyone's very welcome to be a member uh we charge an annual fee for that but once you charge the annual fee you can come to as many things as you like um so so typically in days gone by we, we would have tutorial sessions on 
Android phones, Windows mm -hmm. 10, Spotify, mm -hmm. um, Excel, Word. I would have forgotten some those sorts. Oh, we'll do a bit on cameras. Yeah. Um, how to digitize that sort of stuff. So and where do you do those? What we, it... We're in the uh, senior centre, which is immediately adjacent to Meals and Wheels in Taramara. Right. Just okay. up from yes, the I know where it is. park yep. by the church. Yep. Okay, thank you. So, uh, you know, if you want further accolades of uh, computer powers, you can talk to Franco or Heather. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's Gilroy <laughs> Avenue, I think. Yes. Okay. <laughs> How much is your annual fee, Bill? Uh, it's 65 for a year and we have a $20 joining fee. So if you pay the 65 or the 85, I said you can come to as many things and we, we operate 10 months a year. So we, we uh, put mm -hmm. our feet up in December and January, but in I say a normal lap, we, um, we have weekly tutorial sessions. We have twice monthly help sessions. We have a monthly meeting um, and that's basically how we are operate i'm happy to send some stuff out if there is any interest some information hmm. i can i can send that on if you like yeah. um before we go one question as i said my imac's getting old and i updated it i rang apple and they said okay we've put you on this new catalina but then i lost my word so in order to get word back do i yes. just pay through apple and pay so much a month or so much a year or do i go and buy the disc that then i've put into my imac uh you probably got yeah to get word back you would need to pay something separate i believe mm. but you can probably use the apple equivalent which um i'm not overly familiar with because i'm not an apple person but it seems to be perfectly adequate from my understanding oh okay so uh, and, and you should be able to convert across quite easily so if you've got files that were were word they should be able to convert across oh there's nothing worth keeping but when i came up and tried to set up word i think i could pay so much a month or so much a year mm. yeah and do it through the computer yeah but originally we had a disc that my uni student he um he got one through macquarie i don't know if he paid for it but i don't think i can get that <laughs> off him unless he's allowed to share it yeah I'd have to ask okay thank you You can get those from JV Hi-Fi as well through okay. well, the Apple, the iMac, um, the Word version. Word. Yes, Excel. I think that's what we originally did many years ago at Harvey Norman, and we got something. We were able to put it on three devices. Yeah, and it's worked really well. But now it's a bit out of date, and yeah, we've used up all our chances. Okay, so it's just a word for iMac, really, isn't it? Mm. Okay, thanks very much. Me again, Irene. Oh. Mean, yeah. <laughs> Can I ask you, you just mentioned about uh, your, your, your group meeting is in Tarama, Thank you, Robin. Tarama right? Okay. So, yeah, um, so is any closer to Gordon or can we meet, uh, and when you go there, do we have to bring our device or what? Uh, we have devices uh, at the club, um, depending on what you've got. Uh, a lot of people now do favor bringing their own devices because they they're familiar with it and they can set it up as they want to and things like that that there is um i'm a hardly dare mention this is opposition there's a, a, a karingai club um which who operate out of uh east linfield primarily but sometimes the the, uh, the gordon center um the, the school or the old school mm. yeah and that might be more convenient it's, it's the library you. Yeah. yeah, so they're, they're called actually Karinga Computer Pals for Seniors. Yeah. So, yeah. Are they okay. still on now? Yes. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're around. Now it's locked down, right? They are, they are not, uh, not Not face to face. Nothing's face to face at the moment. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, how, how can I join the Karinga one? So, I, I can send that um, the email for that one as well. Okay. Thank you. So, your opposition, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Am I allowed to do that? No. <laughs> I, I love to go to Bill's group, but too far away for me. I'm not a good driver. So I bet. Okay. It. But Kulenga, is, is Gordon is close to me. Yeah. Yeah. So it, they may, they're mostly in East Linfield, which is also probably yeah. a bit of a drive. But um, yeah. yeah, anyway, I can give you that link. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay, was it was that helpful, everybody? What what I'm what I'm thinking I might do is is send out a, a sort of a, a very brief step by step, particularly mm -hmm. for WhatsApp because that does seem to be the one that yeah, people yeah. enjoy. Yeah, so I'll, I'll just have that typed up and send it just as a 
and document for you. Hmm. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you so yeah. much. All right. Thanks a lot. That was well finished up. Well, thanks, Bill. That was fantastic. Thank you for stepping up and doing that. Pleasure. Pleasure. <laughs> and, uh, th thank you for everyone for participating. Lots of good questions. Yes. <laughs> Good fun. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you very you. much. Very Bye. nice. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs>